Hey guys, it's been a while. <clears throat> I just wanted to make a quick video letting you kind of know what the dealio is. So yes, for any of you who is going to ask, yes, we are getting the video up for the whole Virginia, Georgia surprise trip thing. But it's just taking a while because we're trying to compile all of our footage and it'll be good. And we have a few other videos to put up as well, but we'll put them up intermittently. But I just wanted to make this because I was going to put it off until after that, but it's just not going to happen right now. So, <clears throat> um, it is the 24th today and last month on the 22nd, I believe I got my period it was cycle day one on the 24th. <clears throat> and, um, it was the um, I don't know I don't have a calendar in front of me but <clears throat> about two and a half weeks later uh, I think it was the 6th of yeah the 6th of <clears throat> the hell month is it September and um, I started getting some ovulation pains and I was like hmm okay well ovulating I guess since that was like, you know, two weeks after my period had started, I was kind of like, okay, well, that kind of makes sense, you know, if I'm ovulating. And then, so I went home on, got home on the 8th, and we had sex the next day on the 9th. And I had some pinkish spotting for about three days after that. So I, I, it was confirmed that it was ovulation. I had basically every sign you can have of ovulation. I don't even know if I've been on the screen the whole time if you're just looking at my boobs. Um, <clears throat> but pretty much guaranteed that I ovulated. So that was um, then, and today would be 15 days past ovulation. Of course, it ended in a negative, so I'm not pregnant, but, <clears throat> which leads me to what we're going to do this month, because I am not pregnant. So, I should be getting my period any day now, hopefully. Um, and when I do, I will be doing Clomid. So I'm finally trying to conceive again. Holy cow. Uh, I went to a new OB on this last Thursday. And basically, we were having some big issues with our relationship. Me being that I have no libido at all. And it was just hindering our relationship hugely. So I went to the doctor. I was like, look. I don't have a libido, uh, and I don't feel like this is normal, and I, I need help. And basically, I posted on Facebook, and all the ladies on there were like, you know, I don't either, it's normal. And it's like, even if it's normal, I hate it. I want to want to have sex with my husband. So, it was Thursday, so I went, and he did, he did a pap, and he sent off my results and stuff, and, uh, he wrote me a prescription to get a glucose test done. I guess a glucose curve. I don't know. Um, so he sent, he wrote me up the prescription for, um, to go in. I would go in at like seven o'clock in the morning, get my blood taken and then drink this stuff, this like sugary drink, wait there for two hours and then take another drink of that. What? Take another drink of what? Take a, get another blood test done. And then um, see if I have like high insulin or if I have diabetes or any tests like that. So um, he wants me to get that taken, which is like, God, I don't want to get on metformin. I don't want to do anything like that. So, you know, really hoping for good news on that part. But I have a feeling it's not going to be. So anyway, got that done. And I don't know what it was. Maybe it was just addressing the issue that I had no libido. Me and my husband talked about it. We got in a huge argument about it. And ever since then, I kind of have one. And I don't really understand it. Maybe it's because I talked about it and addressed it and put it behind me. But yeah, we've already had sex multiple times since then. So it seems back. I'm not being such a frigid bitch anymore, which is really nice. <laughs> I'm holding a sock. <laughs> I don't know why. Anyway, um... <clears throat> so, where was I going with this? Clomid. So, anyway, 
One of my friends had a four month supply of Clomid. I have taken Clomid 50 milligrams before. When I took Clomid 50 milligrams before, every month I produced a nice size follicle and had a decent lining. Decent meaning it was fine. It was like usually 12 millimeter or 10 millimeter. It was just a good lining. Um, and my follicle was always like um, 18 minimum, I think. Um, and then sometimes it was like 18 by 19, 20 millimeter. So at this new OB, I was asking him questions. I was like, hey, what what do you, you know, guys, do you do IUI here? And he was like, yes, we do. And I was like, okay, how much is it? He told me the price. It's $170 for the IUI and a hundred and something for the uh, sperm washing. So we're looking at like around 300 for the IUI, 200 and something. And then they only charge $75 per ultrasound. So it's just like my RE, except for this place is way closer. The same price, if not a little bit cheaper. They don't require as many ultrasounds, meaning say say last month, say I did Clomid and I got a good follicle on cycle day 19, I ovulate and it was a good size, good lining, everything. I don't get pregnant the next month. He's not going to need to do as many ultrasounds because he's going to basically go off of every time you've done Clomid, you ovulate on cycle day 19 and you, you know, have this and that and that. So he's going to basically go off of that. So, um, he was a nice guy, some old guy, you know, and I don't really care who does my IUI. I just care that it works. So October is just around the corner and it looks like as soon as I get my period, which should hopefully be any day now, I've been having a little bit of cramping. I am going to start Clomid cycle days five through nine. If we can afford it on cycle day, like, you know, 17, 18, 19, whenever my follicle is a good size, we will do an IUI. So we might not, we might just do timed intercourse this month and then wait to do our IUI for next month. But if we've got the money and we can just do it, then we're going to do it because I'm sick of putting it off. I, I just want to do it. I just want to be a mama. And, uh, so yeah, five through nine, we're going to do Clomid. I'm not looking forward to Clomid again. The hot flashes and the light sensitivity was a bitch, but you know what? For what it's doing for me, it's worth it. And um, anyone who does metformin or takes metformin, you can please let me know, like, you know, if you guys had any horrible side effects from it. I don't think I'm going to take it. I mean, I might try it, but unless, I don't know. I'm really hoping for good numbers on this glucose test. I need to keep up with 801010. I need to get back to it, like, stronghold, like, strong as I was before because I've been really petering off, eating, like, junk. Not horrible junk, but like, you know, not what I should. And my weight loss has been just staying the same. No more extra additional weight loss. So I'm going to get back probably not, I don't know. We'll see. But, um, yeah. So trying to conceive. It's exciting. I am so ready to have a baby so ready to be a mama. I have this second wind for wanting to, you know, get pregnant. And it went away for a while and I was saying, you know, like I, I'm okay with not being a mom, but I don't know what happened this month. I really thought I was pregnant. Of course I'm not. <laughs> I've gotten enough negatives in my lifetime for that not to be a surprise. But it's amazing that just something like thinking that you could be pregnant really gives me enough of a second wind to I want to I want to be a mom again so I'm really excited not that I didn't want to but it's just like enough negatives and nothing going on but I've got Clomid which was like an answer from above thank you to my friend who gave me the Clomid I love you <laughs> um, and yeah so this month we will be starting Clomid again and I am so excited and so hopeful that that I've got four months worth of Clomid and I am hoping 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 that those out of those four months one of them will end in a BFP. I hope, I hope, I hope. So keep me in your thoughts and um, keep watching because hopefully soon you'll have some good news from me with a positive pregnancy test. All right, love you guys. Bye.